You're listening to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Welcome to the Pharmacy Podcast Nation. I'm your host and founder of the Pharmacy Podcast Network, Todd Urey. The Pharmacy Podcast Nation is the center of all that we do collectively through the medium of podcasting. Discover over 750 podcast episodes, 20 plus stations, and more than 30 pharmacists contributing to the podcast publications. You can find all of our episodes and channels at PharmacyPodcast.com. Pharmacy Podcast Network, Pharmacy Podcast Nation. This is Todd Urey, founder of the Pharmacy Podcast. I am excited because, you know what, talking with two of my favorite people in the pharmacy industry, Ms. Nicole, what are you doing from GRX Marketing, President founder, pharmacy owner, participant in this crazy world in industry of pharmacy in Mr. Ben. He has been part of the pharmacy industry with his family, dedicated to really delivering intelligent, usable information in the finances of your world. You make this money, what are you going to do with it? These two have been working in the pharmacy industry probably longer than I have. Nonetheless, there's a collective about the Pharmacy Podcast Network that we've always very much been um, encouraging and trying to pull together these uh, subject matter experts, understanding the challenges of pharmacy ownership, understanding the true obstacles, and by the way, the changing obstacles, the obstacles that are moving um, from when I entered pharmacy 15 years ago to today, drastic changes, drastic obstacles that we have to be able to mitigate. Ben Coakley, Nicole McClure, welcome to the Pharmacy Podcast. Thank you, Todd. Excited to be here. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. All right. We're talking about the Mastering Pharmacy Ownership Workshop. I want to um, set the stage for our listeners. You know, this is a program that was developed by multitude of subject matter experts, people who trust each other, people who work together daily to, to drive actionable solutions to pharmacy owners. Ben, tell us a little bit of how this came to be, the Mastering Pharmacy Ownership Workshop. I believe it's coming up on the second annual event. Tell us what this is all about. Yeah, Todd, I, uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to share a little bit about it. We a few years ago, I had this vision, um, and I actually saw President Bill Clinton speak, and he was talking about collaboration and how him and George W. Bush had gotten together and really made some differences in the, uh, the AIDS epidemic in Africa. And so I said, well, if, if they're talking about collaboration and they're making that big of an impact, how could I get a group of like-minded people together who all really want to serve pharmacy owners and then and then then it became a quest to find people who shared the same vision that i had and that's how this thing started and uh, it started small i called nicole I said nicole i got this idea let's uh let's run through it and see how it works and see if it's applicable to your situation and nicole said hey i think that's a good idea so then we, uh, then we just went out and found other people who we thought were friends of pharmacy owners and pharmacists. And, and that's, how, that's how it came to be. It really, really wasn't like an epiphany. I wish I could say, like, I woke up and had a dream, kind of like Wayne's World, where, uh, you know, throw a concert, right? Well, it didn't happen that way. It was just something that I've always wanted to do, and I'm very blessed that other people have seen the vision and want to be a part of it. Nicole, you know, you and I have now known each other for more than five years. Every time I consult with you or look to you uh, to, to, to bring me in my own um, 
my own journey in the pharmacy industry some solutions, I can always rely on you. So when I heard that Ben had not only teamed up with you for some of his own marketing solutions for Waypoint Pharmacist Advisors, it made sense that you were part of this. But from your perspective, why are you a part of this? What What's important about the Mastering Pharmacy Ownership Workshop? Well, I think it's there's a lot of different things um, that intrigued me about Ben's idea. And um, the first one, I just liked this the style of the platform of what we would do, right? So it's it's an opportunity to give educational information to pharmacy owners. I mean, they're so inundated with, um, you know, things when they go to the, the large trade shows and whatnot, um, but to really sit down and kind of have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the pharmacy owners. Um, you know, talking to them about things that are, are relevant and changing within the industry. And just having that, you know, intimate setting and conversation um, was definitely one of the things that attracted me to the idea. Um, and it also just, you know, it gives the owners opportunity to ask questions and um, really have that engaging dialogue um, that sometimes you don't get from day to day, um, especially for the owners. They're so busy within the pharmacy pharmacy industry, um, you know, keeping up on, on everything that's going on is usually not their top of mind, but for them to just take a day out and, um, have that, have that time with other fellow pharmacy owners, but also experts within in the industry, I think is invaluable. So we're talking March 23rd, 2019 in Atlanta, Georgia. Then the second one for 2019 will be September 21st, 2019 in Dallas, Texas. We're going to have this in the show notes. Um, we're going to uh, go through uh, some of the information, the masterpharmacyownership.com. That's masteringpharmacyownership.com. Ben, there are some really interesting people coming to the event to really share their subject matter expertise about the business of pharmacy. Um, Billy Wees, uh, Eric Fromhart from Secure 340B, which has always been a mystery to many pharmacy owners of how to leverage what is 340B and how to actually make it actionable and part of your business and make some money through the program. Wade Hinkle with Inventory IQ, he's absolutely uh, just a, a fireball of a guy who really understands the importance of inventory management. Uh, Rick Coakley from Transitions RX. N uh, Nicolette Matthew, who has been around pharmacy for quite some time and is just a powder keg of information. Ben, share with us a couple of the programs that Mastering Pharmacy Ownership Workshop is going to be delivering and why you think it's so important to kind of drill down into these subjects. Yeah, yeah, Todd. That's a that's a great question. Um, when when we were kind of surveying the marketplace at what is you know what's popular, what's really trending right now, like like Nicole said, it's the great thing about this platform is is completely customizable as the things change in the industry. So so right now let's 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 pick on Transitions RX. Uh, that Rick Coakley happens to be my father, so I'm a little partial to uh, to that speaker there, but. Uh, he um, is talking about how to, how to effectively take a pharmacy to the next generation. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen inside that, uh, tra that transitions process that can break down, which results in that store not remaining independent. Uh, Secure 340B, uh, love Eric's presentation. One of the cool things about that is, is like if you're an owner and you attend and you want to know about it and you want to know if there's any 340B covered entities like in your area. I mean, pull it up. We actually had an owner at the last one we did, um, which was in Raleigh last year. He actually, his pharmacy was next door to a 340B covered clinic. <laughs> I mean, next door, he said, I can walk out my door in you know, 30 seconds. We in there talking to the, talking to the, um, the owners of that clinic. And and it's and, and it was interesting because I mean this gentleman would have never known that had Eric not been there. Uh, inventory IQ, Wade Hinkle. Um, you're not going to find a, uh, a more of a character. Uh, he is just he is he's a fireball, but he is 
he's a trip, you know, he's my, he's my boy from Alabama and you know, he, um, passionate saves. I think, I think he said he saves on average about 60,000 bucks a year, whether that's money going back to your balance sheet in cash or whether that's revenue and, and profit to your bottom line and 60 K just for managing your inventory a little bit more efficiently. Uh, you know, obviously Nicolette Massey, I mean, she is, uh, you know, she is unbelievable addition to what we're trying to do. Uh, she's, she's working and helping pharmacies build out protocols to go to provider networks and really dive in and become the lead go-to source for that provider network, whether it's podiatry, whether it's, I think she mentioned like eight or nine different types of physicians that her, her program will work for. So if you've got a big network you can go in and start to become that go-to professional. You know, so Todd, there was, I mean, that's the way it came to be. It just, we, we were just, you know, and, and, I, and I'll give Nicole some credit on this because when we were starting the process of determining who was going to be a part of this, and let me talk about Billy Weiss here in a second, she, you know, her and I were talking about what's relevant. Uh, the great thing about working with GRX is GRX, they, y'all, they own 20 pharmacies. So they know what's applicable. Nicolette's a pharmacy owner. Wade Hinkle's a pharmacy owner. So this is just coming from people, you know, consultants or salespeople telling you, hey, this is what you need to do or this is what you need to see. This is actually coming from pharmacy owners who are, who are out there. Uh, but Billy Weiss, he's a pharmacy owner as well. owns three pharmacies in the Charlotte area. He's created a wellness program. And when he showed me the financials from his wellness program, I about fell out my chair. He's figured out a way to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars of profit in a wellness program. That's awesome. Um, Isn't that awesome? I mean, it is it. And and what I like about this is the sincerity. um, Ben, I, one thing I cannot stand is when, when you have the, the, the snake oil sales guys or people that just want to make a buck who aren't entrenched in our life, who aren't entrenched in what we do every day uh, tediousness. Um, I mean, the, you know, when I started podcasting, for example, in 2009, nobody was listening. I think my mom and brother might've been listening by year two. And, um, I even asked myself multiple times, why the, why the heck am I doing this? Like, what am I doing this? Well, because it's passion, because it, I wanted to deliver value to the marketplace. These people want to deliver value to the marketplace. They're not out at the Mastering Pharmacy Ownership Workshop to make a buck, even though we all have to make a living at what we do from our passion. As a pharmacy owner, that's exactly what you're doing in your community. You're passionate about your business. You're passionate about helping patients. You're passionate about making a difference, lowering drug spend, um, helping uh, patients stay adherent, but you have to make a living. So this workshop is about that. It's the fusion of being a pharmacy owner, um, a passionate pharmacy owner in your community, but go out and get new tools and get uh, new ways of generating profit in order to keep your doors open and thrive because pharmacy is drastically changing and it's changing very quickly. And if we don't have subject matter experts like the team that you guys are putting together, delivering new ideas, then you're going to die on the vine of community pharmacy. And, and we know that's not what we want. So Nicole, from your perspective as a pharmacy uh, marketer and owner and things that you see changing, what else is happening at the mastering pharmacy ownership that you'd like our listeners to understand? Well, I think, you know, just one thing to touch on, um, with Nicolette um, Macy with the the ORCID program. Um, I know she's going to talk about PBM changes for 2019. And I think that's going to be one of the most important topics of the day, just because, you know, there are some things that have changed for this year. And I think, again, it's it's hard to keep on top of those kind of things just in the day-to-day interactions that a pharmacy owner has, but, you know, so, so things like that. Um, but also just, 
going back to basics, right, of, um, you know, for myself personally, going to talk about how to reach out to prescribers in, in detail to doctors. Um, so that goes hand in hand what um, ORCA does on the, the prescriber protocol standpoint. Um, and then just being able to take away so much information that you can go back to your pharmacy and implement right away. Um, you know, so it's not sales tactic, it's educational. Um, the pharmacy owner is going to leave there with all these great tips that Monday morning they can walk in and talk to their employees about, or, you know, make changes to their, their workflow or programs that they offer. Um, so I think that's one of the, the great things about the workshop. You know, something I've noticed from talking with Ben over the years is the fact that not one pharmacy is the same throughout the country. There's obviously similarities between community pharmacies or standalone long-term care pharmacies or even some of the specialty pharmacies that have developed. But Ben, you work with hundreds, if not thousands of pharmacies over the years and your family's mm -hmm. business definitely in the thousands. How does the Mastering Pharmacy Workshop help the, the, the drastic difference between one pharmacy located in Arizona versus another pharmacy located in Massachusetts? How, how does this program kind of widen the brush uh, of solutions to kind of start things and then follow up, which you and I and Nicole just got done talking about before we started the recording, What's the follow-up after you've enrolled and, you, and used the intelligence of the program in order to make some of these solutions actionable in your pharmacy? Yeah, Todd, that's a, another, uh, another dynamite question, buddy. I can tell you, uh, you've done this a few times, but um, the uh, really important, I was just thinking about as Nicole was saying what she was saying about doctor detailing, which is gonna get you in front of a prescriber and maybe get you into a provider network. What's really cool about what this whole thing is designed to do is sometimes it's the connection of a couple of points of data that allow somebody to really become successful. And let me give you a great example of that. If, if somebody were trying to get into a provider and then they'd have to have something to bring that provider, Nicole and Nicolette, could help that person. And, and each person around this country all has unique opportunities, a different set of circumstances. There are a lot of commonalities, which really helps us be efficient in our work. But you're right, there are a lot of unique things about each and every pharmacy. And the key is, is to network and connect the points to get you to where you wanna be and I feel like our workshop is a valuable tool to be able to do that. One of the other things that we do at the workshop, we'll talk about follow-up afterwards, but one of the other things that we do is we allocate tremendous networking time. So after the show's over, you know, we all stay around. And people can come talk, hey, if I did this and connected this, Todd, and what happens is it's an amazing process when that light bulb comes on and they say, now I got the two missing pieces or the one missing piece or the three missing pieces that I've needed uh, to, to take my business to the next level. Nicole brought up a really good point too about back to the fundamentals. One of the, one of the things, one of the, one of the reasons that Nicole and I started this is we realized um, that a lot of the conferences have moved beyond just the basic fundamentals. And uh, Todd, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a Clemson Tiger, and we are the defending national football champions. Well, uh, very proud to say that. Just throwing it out there. Um, you know, Nicole knew I was going to get that in at some point. But um, I actually wrote something on LinkedIn about, hey, Dabo Sweeney, our football coach, can't he can't go and say we're going to put in a national championship winning game plan if our guys don't know how to block and tackle. So some of this stuff might have been completely overlooked or it might be a refresher to really help kind of get somebody back on track too. So, uh, and as for follow-up after, uh, what's really cool is 
every um, sponsor, every company that's going to be there, every person, the biggest thing that really sets them apart from a lot of people in this industry is that they care. If they didn't care about pharmacy, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be part of this. I, I would not allow it, uh, to be honest with you. Um, because, you know, we say in our company, you either don't know or you don't care. If you don't know, that's on me. If you don't care, then there's really nothing I can do. So when you contract or when you work with one of these providers, you are going to get what I consider the best service. So the follow-up, their systems to follow up will ensure that you fully implement whichever one of these ideas that makes sense for you. You know, Todd, we don't have anything set in stone that we say, hey, you know, there's going to be a teleconference you can hop on or anything. But what I'll tell you is, is that if you work with Secure 340B, if you work with GRX, I know if you work with GRX, they do our marketing. I know they're going to follow up and they're going to get the stuff done for you. If these, if these people weren't people getting things done, then, um, then they wouldn't be a part of this workshop. So I want to make a point as we wrap up today's episode, and that is, you know, it's 2019. Just as we've said, things have changed in pharmacy. I entered 2004. It's drastically different than what it was, and it's so much more competitive. And if you are complaining about DIR fees and PBM and contracts and things that are just eating away at your profit and ability to stay in business and you're not implementing and trying new techniques, new strategies, new marketing, new business development, then you can't expect things to change for your business, for your community and for your employees and for your own bottom line and your own success and your own profitability. And that's so important. There's nothing wrong with making a profit as a pharmacy owner. Absolutely nothing. Because the heart of a pharmacy owner in their community is just going to give it back to the community anyway, one way or another. We know that. I know that. I know the heart of pharmacy owners out there. That's exactly the way that they do. That's just the way that you're wired. However, if you, if you don't change things, and I know change is hard. Change is hard for me. I'm still trying to work on my 2017, um, um, you know, rehabilitation of my own fitness for God's sake. So I got to get on that and stop uh, procrastinating to not work out two or three days a week. But that's another podcast, Ben. But I, I want to encourage everyone to look into this program. I want to encourage you to take some steps, even if they're small steps in changing the, the trajectory of your pharmacy business and mastering pharmacy ownership workshop could really help you uh, do a double check and, and check your own business and what you're doing. Listening to some of these providers of this information, mastering pharmacy ownership.com. It's going to be in the show notes and wrapping up uh, Ben and, and Nicole, anything before we, um, before we go. Um, I think just to, to wrap it up, I mean, Ben touched on, on it a little bit, but each of the presenters that are going to be there will, you know, not only give you educational information, but can show ROI for each program or subject that they're talking about. So again, you're not only going to walk away with great tips, but also know that they are ones that work, um, you know, as, as been discussed before, a lot of people that are involved within the workshop are pharmacy owners themselves. So they are out in the trenches and, and know what works and what doesn't. So I think that's something, again, that's a little unique um, to this workshop and a great reason to, to join us on March 23rd. Yep. Yep. That's a, that's a great point, Nicole. Um, and, and little, little, a uh, little bit of uh, wisdom from my wife, uh, Todd, and you'll appreciate this. Um, if you want to change your outputs, you got to change your inputs. And, uh, and you know, Todd, if you want to be physically fit, man, you got to, you got to get your, get your butt up off the couch and get moving. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty simple thing. I want to be fit. I got to change what I'm doing. Well, that's kind of what we're, uh, what we're going for here is we're, we're not asking you to, we're not asking you to make wholesale changes to what you're doing. 
We're just saying, hey, if you've got a 340B program, let's make sure it's done right. If you're doing marketing, let's make sure it's done effectively. You only got so many dollars, let's, let's put them to work in the most, uh, the most effective way. Uh, and the last thing that I want to, the last thing that I really want to point out that's so important to what we're doing here is not a single person, not a single company that, that is represented, Billy, Nicolette, none of them, Nicole, none of them have paid any money to get up here to tell you these things. They are volunteering their time to come provide this educational content. And I think that's much needed in this industry. I, I've always wondered, like, if a farmer center is looking up at me at, up on the stage and I'm talking, if, if they're sitting there thinking, hey, was this guy put up here because he's, he's the best at what he does or was he put up here because he paid the most money? So this is very altruistic, Todd. I mean, what we're trying to do here. And, and I think that's a, that's a testament to every single one of the people and the companies that are represented. That's a great point. I appreciate you um, mentioning that uh, to the listeners. Um, I want to encourage you to take a look at the site, masteringpharmacyownership.com. Um, take a look at the program. Take a look at this, um, the, these people that are presenting. Uh, go ahead and Google them. Look them up. See what they're about. Um, there is no way to hide in the internet these days. <laughs> and uh, appreciate both of you, uh, your consistency, your commitment to pharmacy, and what you guys are doing. Um, excited about being there. Pharmacy Podcast Network will be there March 23rd, 2019. Atlanta, Georgia is our first one. And then September 21st, 2019 in Dallas, Texas. Um, thank you both for being part of this episode of the Pharmacy Podcast, Mastering Pharmacy Ownership. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it, brother.